In this week's live lesson, we are going to talk about fixing errors. In part one of today's lesson, we are going to look at some error expressing vocabulary. We're going to look in part two at three key verbs that we use to explain how we fixed the error. And in part three, we are going to look at how we talk about our changes for the future. So what are we going to do to make sure, hopefully, we don't make the error again? So as you join today's live lesson, please make sure to hit the like button. And of course, share this video so that other people can find this topic that would be super, super cool. So while we wait for people to join us live, I have two super quick announcements as always. The first one is about our team's special 35% off discount that you can find at EnglishClass101.com. You will find this information from the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook. The team has a 35% off deal right now, so if you want to start studying with us, now is a great time to begin. So the team has this one until October 20th. That is in just a couple days. So make sure to check this quickly if you are interested in getting our lessons, more of my lessons, and all of our study tools. So you can find all of this information from the link below the video. And on this page, you can find a bunch of different uh, features. You can find some of the features that you will find at EnglishClass101.com. So check it out. Okay, that's announcement number one. Number two, if you have questions for me, I need them. I want to hear your questions, but I want to hear them, I want to read them on the official question submission page. Send me your questions at englishclass101.com slash ask hyphen Alicia for this series, the Ask Alicia series, where I read your real questions and I might choose yours and hopefully I answer it. If you want to send me a question, please send it uh, to the official page where I will 100%, I will definitely read your question and I might include it in the series. You can find this from the link in the YouTube description or check any episode of Ask Alicia on YouTube and you will find the link for the question page. Don't put your questions in somewhere else. I don't know. No Instagram DMs, no YouTube or Facebook comments. I cannot keep up with them all. It is impossible. Please, <laughs> please don't put them there. I won't see it. I probably won't see it. So please put them on the official question submission page and that would be awesome. And maybe you'll be in the series. How cool is that? Okay, let's get back to today's topic. It looks like everything is going okay, yeah? So today, if you missed it, today we're going to talk about fixing errors, okay? So I'm gonna go and share the video on Facebook. I haven't seen Facebook yet, what's up? I see YouTube, hi YouTube. Natalie, what's up? Francisco, Elio, hi. Lee Nguyen, hi. Virginia from Brazil, what's up? Mariester, hi. Mohammed. Uh, Lee again, okay, uh, Dragon, <laughs> hi, Liesl from Guatemala, what's up everybody, welcome. Okay, let me share the video and like the video, you can do this with me if you want, just saying. Ah, there I am, okay, like and share, and I will say hi to you on Facebook, did I share it? Eh, uh, good, okay. Um, what's up, Jacob and Juan, someone, I can't read your name, uh, I can't read your name, Glenda, what's up, Jesus, hey everybody, Chesh, what's up, okay. Great, everybody's here. Let's begin today's lesson. All right, first I want to start today with something kind of fun. Like I wanna look at just, it's these are tiny, tiny little words, but they're actually really important. Uh, and knowing how to use these correctly is I think really important too. So part one, you can grab your notebook now to make your notes for today. So today let's begin with mistake words. So these are the like the words we use when we make a mistake, okay? And I created uh, this from light to serious, so let's see what I mean. So I have a list here of words on a spectrum. So that means the words at the top of the list are for light mistakes, okay? Not so serious mistakes. And the words closer to the bottom are more serious. Today, I'm not going to talk about really, really, really big mistakes, <laughs> like very serious, but it's a mistake that causes a problem for someone. That's what I mean. So serious mistake is like a mistake 
that caused a problem for someone or uh, it slowed a people down, something like that. A light mistake is like I maybe I dropped my pen. Oh no, yeah. So this is something that's very, I think, important to consider, right? So I have a few vocabulary words, we have others, for these different situations. So maybe the lightest one, these are usually all very light, is we have the word oops, oops, or sometimes we say whoops, we use a w sound at the beginning there, oops or whoops. So when we drop something or when we make a small mistake, we use oops sometimes, oops, I dropped my pen, oops, I forgot that thing, whatever. When you make a small mistake, we might use oops or whoops, whoops, yeah. Some people might say whoops, I guess, but I, I, in the way I speak, I say whoops most of the time. So these are used in very light situations. The next one up is uh-oh, uh-oh. So we use uh-oh when it's like something kind of light happened, but it might cause a problem, right? Uh-oh. So this one could be a little bit more serious maybe, but we also use this uh, in lighter situations too. Like, again, like if you drop something or you forget something, like, uh-oh, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> so it's may maybe not a huge problem, but it, uh, it's a problem, yeah? It's a mistake of some kind, okay? The next one, oh no, oh no. So uh, let's say for oh no, maybe, like you forgot to send an attachment on your email, maybe. Oh no, I forgot to send the attachment to my email. That's a pretty good one for oh no. It's like, oh no. Like that's a, you feel bad, you feel silly, you feel embarrassed maybe, right? So we can express that with oh no. Some people might use uh oh or oops as well. Again, this all depends on the person to a degree, okay? So, oh no. All right, the next one is my bad, my bad. So this is one you use when you are talking to another person, okay? So you might notice here, this is the first one on this list that uses my, okay? So my bad is another way of saying I am responsible for the mistake. So this my means it was mine, right? And bad is a casual way to say mistake, right? My bad means that was my mistake, or I am responsible for that problem. I am responsible for the error. This is a very casual way to say that. Oops, my bad, we might say, right? Like, oh, I put the wrong settings in the camera, or I put the wrong settings on the computer. Oops, my bad. So this is the first one on this list where we, the speaker, takes responsibility. Yeah, oops, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that, yeah? So my bad, okay? The last two I put on separate lines, uh, but we have these two expressions, I messed up and I screwed up, yeah? So for me personally, I screwed up feels a little more serious than I messed up. Like you can say I messed up like when you're, I don't know, playing an instrument, maybe oh, I messed up this part again, <laughs> or, or maybe like, oh, I messed up the, the dish I was making for dinner, right? So I messed up. This means I made a mistake, right? So we don't often say like I made a mistake unless it's a very serious issue, like something you, maybe you hurt another person's feelings or you caused a big problem at work, like, oh, I'm really sorry I made a mistake. But for everyday life problems, like, oh, I messed up, <laughs> I messed up my dinner, yeah? You can use this. I screwed up is a little more serious in my mind. Like, you, if you are making something at your house, maybe you have to make a desk you bought from Ikea or something, <laughs> yeah? So if you make a mistake with that, you might say, oh, I screwed up, I screwed up this desk. I screwed up this thing I'm making. So these are all expressions that we use to have to, this is how we express that moment we realize like I made a mistake, there's an error here. Yeah. Also you might hear characters in movies, TV shows, and in real life too. Sometimes we make like a big mistake. Sometimes we hurt someone or we make 
we create a big problem. And sometimes people will say, oops, for that. Like they want to make it seem small, right? So if there's a big mistake and a really like small reaction, that's probably the reason. The person wants to make it seem like a small problem, right? Like if I say, oops, after a big problem, it's like, I want to make it like, oh, it's not such a big deal. It's not such a big problem. So that's the reason that sometimes people will choose light words for big problems. So you might see that. All right. So uh, Patrick asks, is screwed up is not a bad word. It's not a bad word. No, like oh, I screwed up. It's a way to say I made a mistake. Yeah. So we don't, it's not. A bad word it's not bad to say it like this uh, some people might use it uh, in the expression that's screwed up or that's messed up which means like that's weird or that's unpleasant that's not good that's not cool yeah but when we use it like this I messed up or I screwed up it expresses a mistake okay all right any examples okay Miguel wrote you messed up my phone yeah nice one <laughs> you messed up my phone okay um, Natalie wrote, oh no, my bedroom was in a mess. Just say my bedroom uh, is a mess or my bedroom was a mess. Is that a mistake though? Like is your bedroom being a mess a mistake? It's just a situation, right? Like I might say, I might go, oh, my bedroom is a mess, <laughs> right? We use this for a mistake. I made a mistake. I made an error, yeah? Black Eagle says, oh no, I broke my mom's favorite vase. Yeah, good one. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Okay. Others. Uh, that is what, oh no, with a, oh no. We don't use oh comma no for this kind of, uh, for this kind of mistake expression, if that's the question. Okay. We use it often after, like, oh no, comma, oh no. <laughs> comma I did a bad thing <laughs> so okay Facebook what do you have Facebook uh, Rosa wrote oh no I lost my keys okay good um I don't see others hi everybody is just saying hi on Facebook okay come on Facebook <laughs> your classmates on YouTube are sending questions and comments come on Facebook get with it <laughs> participate <laughs> you can say more than hi okay that's great so part one light to serious okay so let's go to a quick break and then we'll continue to part two. Some, I think I have three words, uh, three vocabulary words to cover. So if you missed it, I will remind you 35% off at EnglishClass101.com this week. You can find our team's lessons and courses and tools and so many study resources for 35% off until October 20th. So if you want to get this, if you want more details about this, you can find this from the link below the video, if you're watching on YouTube, above the video, or maybe to the side of the video over here, if you're watching on Facebook. So if you want to start studying with us, now might be a great time. Check it out. You can check it out and think about it. Take a look. If you want to get this one, get it soon. Okay, great. Let's continue to part two. If you haven't, please make sure to hit the like button. Go like this, maybe like this on your phone, right? Hit the like button and share this video because it helps others to find the information. Okay, let's go to part two. Part two is about vocabulary. So what are the vocabulary words we use to explain how we fixed something? Okay, so first one, very basic, of course. To fix. <laughs> We're going to start with the verb to fix. So today we are going to practice these verbs in past tense. Yeah. I fixed the noun. I fixed the noun. This is the basic pattern for today. Okay. So I fixed this ed is not fixed, but fixed like a T fixed. I fixed the noun. Okay. So the noun is the problem thing. What is the problem or where was the error? Where was the mistake, right? So replace noun with your problem item, okay? For example, I fixed the computer. I fixed the computer. There was a virus, right? I fixed the computer or I fixed the problem. I 
fixed the problem. Or, I fixed the sentence. I fixed the sentence. So, this is the most general and basic way to explain fixing a problem, repairing a problem, making a problem better. Yeah? So, if you don't know a better word, if you don't know a more specific vocabulary word, <clears throat> you can use fix. Yeah? I fixed the problem. Okay? So, this is the most basic way to do that. But, let's continue. I chose two words that I thought were probably most helpful today. The next one I want to talk about is this. I rewrote. Rewrote. This is the past tense form of rewrite. Right? So, what is this re doing here? Yeah? Rewrote. Uh, this re, this is a prefix. So prefix means we put it before another word, okay, at the beginning. So to uh, re means again, to do again, right? So when we put re with write, or in the past tense, wrote, it means to write again, okay? So I rewrote something. We can use this vocabulary word when we are making, when we make a mistake in our writing, like in your homework, uh, at work, in a report, in an email, whatever, something written or typed, of course, yeah. So I rewrote, same pattern, the noun, or I rewrote something. So we can use this vocabulary word only for text, yeah. This is the only case, the only time we use I rewrote something, okay? But we need to use it a lot, right? So here are two examples. I rewrote the code. I rewrote the code, okay? Or I rewrote the report. I rewrote the report. So we can use this for anything we need to write again, right? In this example, for example, I rewrote the report. It means there was a problem in the report. I gave the report to my boss or to my manager. My manager said, mm, there's an error here. Please fix this, this, and this, right? And then, okay, I rewrote it. So I took it back, I did it again. I wrote it again, and then I gave it back, right? I rewrote the report. So you can say, hi, to your manager. I rewrote the report, what do you think, right? So this is how we can use these expressions. I rewrote the report, please check it again, okay? All right. Um, Claudia Mir, very close. My tutor asked me to rewrote the essay. Very close. Rewrote, this is the past tense form. So we need, to, in that sentence, my tutor asked me to rewrite the essay. Please rewrite it. Like in a, when we make the requests, like please do this, please do that, we use that uh, dictionary form. Yeah? I re, please rewrite the essay. This is the past tense. We're, I'm using past tense for today's lesson uh, to explain our actions after we fix the thing. Yeah, so perfect once you fix that tense. Okay. Um, Mary Esther, I rewrote the synthesis. What is the synthesis? I don't know what that is. But okay, grammatically correct. <laughs> grammatically correct. Piafina, uh, I fixed my hair. Okay, good. I fixed my hair. Yeah, that's a very common one, right? When you go outside on a windy day <laughs> and you need to fix your hair. We use fix in that situation too. Hey Sam, I rewrote your email. Ooh, interesting. So you rewrote someone else's email? Like someone sent you an email and you rewrote it and sent it to them? It's possible, it's possible. Okay. Um, Juan said, I rewrote the letter. Great, okay. Let's see, Facebook, anything? Facebook? Facebook, what's going on over here today? <laughs> Okay, there's a few. One, I fixed my father's car. Nice one. Oni says, I fixed the car. Okay, JM wrote, I fixed my bike. Okay, great. Uh, Rosa, I fixed my bedroom. Okay, maybe I cleaned up my bedroom. I'm not sure. Again, today's vocabulary is for fixing mistakes, right? So there's a problem somewhere, right? So what are we fixing? What error or mistake are we fixing, right? So please keep that in mind. Okay, let's continue. Part, oh no, last, sorry, last one. Part two, vocabulary word three. So, 
The next one is redo. Redo. So this is a uh, redid. This is the past tense form. Redid. So you'll notice I don't have a hyphen in this one. So rewrote and redid. You will find that people sometimes use a hyphen and sometimes do not use a hyphen uh, in these words that use like re, like rebuild or recreate or rewrite or redo. So you will sometimes see people use this hyphen and sometimes you will not. So the general rule is according to the dictionary, according to style guide, if there's no chance that we are going to misunderstand, if there's no chance we are going to make a mistake with the meaning, no hyphen is okay. But if there's a chance it might be understood incorrectly to use a hyphen. Today I decided to use a hyphen for the first one just because I wanted to show that re is the prefix and wrote. Uh, is the base word there. So this is the reason that you might see a hyphen and you might not see a hyphen. Not everybody follows exactly the same rules for hyphens with these. Okay, so this redid, redid, this is the past tense of redo. Okay, so let me put this in a box really quick. So today I talked about these uh, two words. I'm going to put them without a hyphen actually so you can see them in this little tip box here. So rewrite and redo. These are the uh, dictionary forms of these two verbs. Yeah. In past tense I redid. Redid. So I explained uh, earlier that re means do again. Right. So to redo means to do again. Yeah. So here, I redid the noun is something we use for like things we make or th activities, actions we do that are not writing. In this word, rewrite, we are talking about emails, books, articles, right? But for other things like, for example, making a video or making a song, right? We might use something else. We might not say rewrite because we don't write a video. Maybe we can use rewrite. We can use write for a song. But if you have a different like creative activity, you can use redo, the verb redo and in past tense redid. So I redid the video or I redid the song. So this means I did it again. Yeah. So I redid the video means I made it once. I gave it to you, there was a mistake, so I did it again. Okay? So I redid the video. Okay. Um, oh, Molly, oh, wrote, I, I not reload. Maybe like I can't reload. We use reload for uh, web pages, internet pages, yeah? Um, let's see, I'm looking for your example sentences. Uh, Kanu wrote, I don't want to rewrote this. Okay, so again, this is a past tense verb, right? So it, your sentence is not past tense. I don't want to rewrite this. I don't want to rewrite this, okay? So watch out for your tenses. These are all past tense, yeah? These are past tense examples, okay? Uh, Claudemir wrote, you messed up the video, so I redid it. Great, get rid of that second comma there. You messed up the video, comma, so I redid it. No comma after so, then it's perfect, okay? All right, um, others, ah, Dariush, I redid our dinner that was burnt. Oh, nice one, good one, yeah. Uh, if you want to use that for dinner, like you could say, I guess you could say I remade our dinner, yeah, like I remade, I redid our dinner, yeah. That's an unusual situation, I guess, <laughs> making dinner again, yeah. But yeah, interesting, okay. I might say I remade our dinner. Yeah, but I would be really careful with that. <laughs> like it sounds like the other person did such a bad, made such a bad mistake that you are doing their work again. Like be careful with that. Yeah, <laughs> like to say that sounds like I'm doing it better than you. I guess uh, there's there's layers to that. Okay, uh, Kandu, did you just write that? I did not want to rewrote this. I explained rewrote. This is past tense. You are writing me. Uh, I, a sentence that needs this to be rewrite. I did not want to rewrite this. Yeah. So 
So maybe look at those uh, negative sentence grammar patterns to practice this part, okay? All right, Facebook, what's up? Got some Facebook? <laughs> Jim Kal Ahmed said, I redid the lesson. Perfect, I redid the lesson. Rosa has, I redid the music. JM wrote, I redid my bed, like you made the bed again, maybe? What is that what that means? Okay. Uh, Glenda, I want to rewrite this lesson tonight. Ah, also, if you are talking about a uh, video, like, like this video, for example, we can use rewatch, which means to watch something again. I want to rewatch that movie. I want to rewatch that YouTube video. I want to rewatch that TikTok, whatever. So you can use re and watch in the same way. Okay. All right. Done. Part two is done. Oh my gosh, that took a long time. So let's quickly take a break. Uh, actually, let's just go right into part three because I am very late, as always, talking so much about small points. Love to do it, right? <laughs> let's go into part three now. Let's talk now to finish today about future changes. So after you make a mistake, after you express, okay, I fixed it, I rewrote it, I redid it, whatever. The next step in a good, like, fixing situation is to explain how is it going to be different in the future? What are you going to do different in the future? Yeah? So, here are two. We are going to look at five expressions, okay? First two, use I'll. I'll, right? I will because we are deciding in the moment, right? I decided in this moment after I fixed the problem, yeah? So, I'll make sure to do it that way or this way in the future. I'll make sure to do it that way in the future. We can use that or this, yeah? I'll make sure to do it this way in the future. Both are okay here. So, at native speed, this sounds like I'll make sure to do it that way in the future. So, in the future means next time right? And I'll make sure to do it that way. Means like now I have decided this is going to be my new action. Okay? All right. And the second one is like a short way to say that. I'll do it this way from now on. That is also okay. I'll do it that way from now on. Also okay. I'll do it this way from now on. This part. From now on. From now on. This is really helpful. From now means now is the starting point, the present. On means into the future. I'll do it this way from now on, okay? So this is a great way, quick, short way, to express your changed behavior, yeah? Okay, let's look at one more, a negative sentence pattern. I won't do that again. I won't do that again. Okay. I will not, right? So won't is will not. I will not. Sounds like a robot. So I won't do that again, right? If you make a mistake, right? Maybe you can't fix the mistake, but you want to express, I understand it's a problem. I won't do that again, right? I won't do that again, right? So this is a good way to show you are learning from your behavior. Yeah. Okay, let's do the last two because time has run out. All right, last two. Uh, if you want to kind of compliment the other person, if you are working with another person and they teach you some way like to fix the problem or they teach you a really good way to do something, you can use these two to show you fixed your mistake, you fixed your error, and you're like excited or you think their idea is so good, right? So these are really helpful in these situations. For example, oh, I'm definitely gonna start doing that. Oh, I'm definitely gonna. This gonna is going to. I'm definitely 100%. Definitely means I am 100% going to start doing that, right? Someone teaches you, oh, do it this way, it's better and you realize, oh, that's such a good idea, <laughs> right? You can say, I'm definitely gonna start doing that. We use this going to instead of will because it shows a very strong decision in the moment. This is one of the uses of going to. At native speed, this sounds like, oh, I'm definitely gonna start doing that. I'm definitely gonna start doing that. Very quick, right? 
So we can use this one or the second one is, wow, this way is so much better than how I was doing it before. Wow, this way. So this way, your way that you taught me, this way is so much better than how I was doing it before. This part, how I was doing it before or the way I was doing it before now, right? So this is my action, it was here, but your way is here, is better, right? This sentence communicates that. This way is so much better than how I was doing it before. So way means method here. This method is so much better than how I was doing it before. But method sounds like a robot, yeah? So we say way instead of method in casual conversation, okay? Um, all right, I'm looking at your questions really quickly because it's time to go. Uh, Happy Indie wrote, I failed on the exam. I won't do that again. Yeah, nice example. We usually say I failed the exam. I failed the exam, yeah, without on in American English. Uh, I failed the exam, okay? Um, Facebook, hello everybody. Uh, Facebook, where are your examples today? Facebook, a couple of you. Great job, great job, Facebook. Facebook, come on Facebook, participate, you can do it. Your YouTube classmates are crushing you. Okay, um, let's see, I don't see any other questions and I am very late, so let's finish today's lesson there. So, today we talked about how to fix errors. We talked about mistake expressions. We talked about three vocabulary words that we use to express fixing mistakes. And we also talked about some ways that we can describe our future changes. So, I hope this is helpful for you the next time you make a mistake because we all do it. <laughs> all right, so let's finish up there for today. I will, of course, be back next week. So next week's lesson information is here. Next week, I'll be back on Wednesday, October 25th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York City time. If you don't know your local time, please Google it, or you can set a YouTube or a Facebook notification and make sure you join me live. Next week, I'm going to answer this question that someone asked me recently. Can you really learn a language with just an app? Someone asked me this, a native English speaker asked me this. We are going to talk about this. If you have watched my videos for a long time, you can probably guess my answer, but <laughs> we're gonna talk about this and we're gonna talk about uh, some study tools and some ways you can study with an app as part of it it's a big hint there so join me for this topic next week and for some study study tools like how to study right so please join me for that next week all right that is it for me for this week don't forget to find the 35 percent off deal at englishclass101.com click the link under the video on YouTube in the YouTube description or Facebook in the description box up here or maybe over here. You will find all of the different features. If you want to get the 35% off discount of our lessons, our courses, our pathways, this one is until October 20th. So make sure to check it very soon. Okay, thanks very much uh, for joining me again live. Come follow me on Instagram if you have not done so already. Uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the video. And I will see you again next time.